were little kids i was like about i think maybe like five or something and he was like because he's a year younger than me so he's probably like about what three we slept in the same bed and so for him in order for him to go to sleep i had to literally like scratch his hand in the middle so he could feel that i was right next to him and that's how he fell asleep so i remember that to this day They came knocking, it was early in the morning because my dad already left to work. He was working at dairy at the time. And they came knocking and they just asked us, you know, like, oh, is Alvarez so saw us here? And I'm like, yeah, what for? Oh, we need to go, we need to question him over something that happened in Granger. We'll bring him back. That's exactly what they told me. So I kind of kept watching the time and I'm like, oh my God, it's getting late, you know? Oh my dad, I'm like, Dad, you know, they came, picked up Junior, they said they would take him for questioning, they never brought him back. Well, then Dad called, and that's what they told us, that they were going to charge him with murder. We were just shocked, we didn't know what to do, you know. We didn't know where to go to, who to call, or anything. They didn't send him to juvie, they sent him to jail, county jail. You know, this is a little 14 year old kid, you know, with these adults, being around older men. And a lot of them were not good, but a lot of them, like he said, some of them showed him, you know, and spoke to him like, hey, you need to do this, you know? Don't worry about that other stuff right there. That's not for you, you know, because one day you're gonna get out, so you need to educate yourself too, you know? Open up your mind to new things, you know. Look outside of this box, you know. Don't always be angry, you know. He grew into this man. It's just like, I don't know, he just blossomed. That's how I see it from this kid that went in there disappointed, angry, you know, sad to a person right now that is like so humble. And people are like, oh, I would be so angry and pissed. But like he says, where's that going to get me? So I want to go out from here with humble and peace in my heart because that's what God wants me to do. So I'm going to do what God asked me to do. And he's been doing that ever since then. Only one reason that he learned so much because he wanted, he wanted to work in his case. It was, he knew. It was the only way he was going to be able to do it because we don't have the money to do it. We're not a rich people. We don't have the money, you know. And out there, you know, you need money to fight those kind of cases. You really do. And more like these days, it looks like if you have money, you can fight it. If you don't, you don't. That's the way it is. To me, my job is right there, be by it all the time because sometimes you know like he get frustrated you know he be waiting and waiting and so like I said my job is right there be by him and talk to him until the end you know it doesn't matter how long it takes us to bring him home we're still going to be doing it no matter what we're still going to be by his side we're still going to keep on fighting for him until he comes home you know and we're not giving up and neither is he 